we're going to take a look at the thesis header widgets plugin now we're going to do that over here on this site yes header horizontal widgets so right now we've just got the the default thesis nav menu and the default thesis functionality here and so before this plugin is activated this is what it looks like this is the standard thesis expression of WordPress however as soon as we activate this activate the thesis simple header widgets plugin what happens is it replaces this default thesis behavior with a widget area with this familiar thesis blue default widget and if we come on over to our widgets panel you can see here in the sidebar area that it has created an additional sidebar or widget area called the left header area widgets that is empty and this corresponds perfectly to this right left header area widgets so if we open up the widget options page what this widget does is it creates either one or two areas inside of your thesis header uh, either one of which can have a widget area in it now a widget area uh, I'm calling it a widget area WordPress calls it a sidebar and this term sidebar is actually a holdover from sort of the original incarnation of of WordPress you know once upon a time in WordPress there was no such thing as widgets and the sidebar was just the side bar of a page that um, that you would put other code in if you wanted your if you wanted something in the sidebar and then I don't know three years ago something like that WordPress added this this concept of widgets where you could drag and drop widgets into this thing that was called sidebar and it was still imagined as this bar along the side however as it became apparent that there were lots of potential places where you might want to use widgets uh, WordPress gave us that ability to to put sidebars anywhere we wanted including at the top and the bottom and in the middle and no longer on the side whatsoever and so the term sidebar lost its location specific information it's no longer on necessarily on the side now a sidebar can be anywhere and now sidebar doesn't suggest a location sidebar just suggests a function well sidebar is not a particularly useful term anymore I don't think and so I refer to it as a widget area you can think of it as either a sidebar or a widget area as long as you don't think of it as being dependent upon being on the side of a page because these widget areas are going to be everywhere and in this case we'll have either one or two widget areas in the header and so what this plugin allows you to do is to create one or two areas inside the header either one of those header areas can have widgets and in addition to that you can style the background of the overall header and also of each individual widget area so the very first thing you do when configuring this is to decide the number of header areas and you have a choice of one header area or two header areas if you select two header areas this little header layout section here shows you what the configuration looks like so now if you come over to the page and refresh it you'll have one header area, the left header area, and the right header area down below. And these two things will stack on top of each other. And if we come over to the widget side again, now you have the, the left header area widgets and the right header area widgets. So you've got these two sidebars or these two widget areas showing up on your widgets panel. So we go back to the options again. And you have a choice of header arrangements. You can either have them stacked just like this or you can have them sit side by side now if you want an actual left header area and a right header area what you have to do is you have to give 
the left header area a width. If you give it a width, the right header area will be automatically sized to take up the rest of the available space and will pop up here beside this. So for example, if we come over to the left header area width and we give it a width of 300 pixels, oops, I gave it a height. That doesn't do the job. <laughs> we have to give it a width. Now it shows you, this header layout thing shows you that the header areas are side by side rather than stacked on top of each other. And if you come back over to the page and refresh it, you can see the left header area is 300 pixels wide and the right header area takes up all the rest of the available space. So those are your two choices for how to arrange your header. If you do not specify a width, then the header areas will be, whoops, clearly did not delete that. If you don't specify a width, the header areas will be stacked and it's no longer really left and right. Now it's top and bottom. But this little box here will always show you um, how they look.